For us, it is, uh, it's an exciting time to be at Bungie. We have uh, an amazing team. Uh, we have a, a game in Destiny that we're, um, we, all, we all love and that we're also transforming and hopefully our players are seeing that day in and day out from Forsaken to our latest Vidoc and Shadowkeep and beyond. And we're also thinking a lot about, you know, what is the future that we want to have as a company? Um, you know, not just uh, with Destiny and not just with the other, ultimately the other games that we want to make, uh, but with the, the company we want to have and the, the people that we want to be with. And, and a lot of that has to do around with, yeah, what would happen if we could continue to build Bungie to be a place where no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, the most talented creative people feel like this is a place where they can come and do their best work. And so that's super exciting to do. Like that's, that makes every day I come here kind of a treat. It's been exciting because, you know, the transformation of Destiny was um, already underway at the time. Watching that has been amazing. On top of that, we, as you imagine, we've had to think about you know, what is the kind of publishing company that we want to have? Because now we're not just a developer, but we're uh, going back to even some of the Bungie's original roots, which is we're both publisher, you know, both developer and publisher. And so what does that mean for the company? We've been spending a lot of time on that. What's great is that the talent that we've been able to build has been um, amazing. Yeah, it's been it's been super cool. And so I, I feel pretty good about where we're at. We're starting to think about what does it mean? What does Bungie long term look like? Like, what is the long term future of of Bungie? And I kind of already spilled the beans on that, which is, you know, we want to be a place that um, makes the world's best entertainment. We create worlds that inspire friendship and that people from any walk of life who are talented feel like they can come here and do their best work. Like that's the what's the vibe that we want to, to build uh, as a company. And so from a publishing effort, we've already built that organization, like that group of the talent, the kind of nucleus of talent that we've been able to build even over the last several months has been absolutely fantastic. And so we feel really confident about our ability to um, both transform the Destiny business um, and I think your, pe people are seeing that in the Vidoc that we released yesterday uh, and the ability to bring it to the marketplace globally. Still have tons of work to do on that front. And then in the long-term vision, it's how do we continue to uh, transform the Destiny business um, to what we think it ultimately needs to be? And how do we begin um, making new things? How do we bring new experiences to the marketplace? And so that's what we spend our time focused on. I think the um, yeah, part of the kind of the new forward look that we have on on the Destiny universe is yeah yeah. If we looked at it in kind of one continuum over time, and I think Luke said you know for the next five years, the five year vision, what would that look like? And that's what the team's been focusing on. They have been focusing on and remain um, focusing on. That's that's. Um, super exciting for us and and part of the independence that we have is that we have the ability to be able to kind of do that in a way that we we think is um, right for our players um, right for our team and then um, you know right for our business as well october 1st is a really big deal we have the launch of shadowkeep which has a ton of new content we have new light which i think is going to be nostalgic for players who've already played Destiny, but more importantly, is like a, 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 a like a zero cost entry point for players around the globe. We're we're doing cross save, which, I mean, as somebody who plays it a lot already, like feels like magic. And we're opening up uh, more platforms, whether it's you know with Steam and with Stadia, as well as we continue on with our great partners at PlayStation and and Xbox. And so, this is a moment. For me, the beginning of October is a moment for players who care a lot about Destiny day in and day out to be reminded of why they love to come and play. It's a time for people who may have played Destiny sometime in the past and they come back to an old friend with a lot of cool new stuff. And for people who've never played it, 
there's a safe way to come in and I think play, uh, yeah, one of the most engaging, fun games there is in the marketplace. And hopefully um, they'll become a part of this great community that we've been able to build. And, uh, and what's exciting for me on a personal basis is because I play, I can't wait to be a part of it myself.